All right, greetings Capricorn. So here we go. Um, we've got a new, a new friend emerging in the seventh house, Mars, to greet your Pluto. <laughs> it's just like in the first, it's like, gosh, does it ever end? Do we ever get any peace these days? Well, you know, one thing I, I have to say is like in the words of the late great Peter Tosh, who is Libra, um, you know, peace is the diploma they give you at the cemetery, my friend. <laughs> Life is a struggle. <laughs> you got to, you got to big up yourself right now. You know, you, you can't. The thing is, is that some people are confrontational, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. They just have a different style. Can I love them even in their conflict? That, you know, that's what it is. Because what it, which, the other thing is, is that you've got this energy suddenly. It's like, I want to tell my partner what to do. They need to do this now. That is usually when relationships go through rockier times, my friend. So I would just say handle this with, you know, kid gloves and realize that you're just more prone to be wanting to direct people. Now, if you're starting a new career or an independent business, yeah, you can use this opposition to Pluto and Mars perhaps to your advantage, especially if you're like opening up a martial arts studio or something. You know, or, or a vigilante training group. <laughs> but, <laughs> really serious. It's a discipline there with that Saturn in the 10th house. But I'd say right now, I mean, the best thing you can really do is, um, you know, gather with good people. You know, people that are more loving and have a sense of kindness and have a sense of um, positive energy. That'll help.